Hi, in this video, I'd like to talk about one of the most common management methods for recurrent miscarriage that is actually not so effective. So, the question here says that does aspirin actually increase pregnancy chances? A lot of doctors, when they deal with recurrent miscarriage patients or even just miscarriage patients, they would actually like to recommend you the use of aspirin. Aspirin, normally the standard tablet, has 350 milligrams. Whereas baby aspirin has somewhere between 70 to 90 milligrams, much more lower dose. So they most commonly like to use baby aspirin, which is low dosage aspirin for these uh, patients who actually have a lot of history with miscarriages, recurrent miscarriages. They believe that it can actually help them prevent this miscarriage, help them secure a full term healthy pregnancy. Now why do they do this is because they, the doctors believe that there is a blood insufficiency for the developing pregnancy which means there is not enough blood that is getting to the, uh, to the fetus or the developing embryo especially in the first trimester where blood flow is very crucial for the nourishment, development, organs and all the systems of the uh, embryo is happening in this stage it requires a lot of uh, blood flow nutrients and oxygen so they believe that because uh, there might be some blockage in the blood flow towards the uterus uh, because the pregnancy gets uh, all it needs from the placenta and then the placenta gets all that it needs from the mother to arteries known as spiral arteries so they believe there's some blockage here and they administer aspirin for these types of patients they believe that uh, they can actually alleviate whatever's happening and then secure them healthy pregnancy. Now theoretically, it seems to be sound because aspirin is a blood thinner. So when blood is thin, it flows really fast. So we can imagine that there's more blood going into the uterus. Furthermore, uh, aspirin also can dilate these arteries, these vessels, which means if there's any blockage present, it can actually dilate and then uh, maybe increase the blood flow. But there's already been research studies, many prominent research studies. I'll be linking them down in the description box. You can actually take a look. Now, they found that there's no conclusive evidence that aspirin can actually help prevent miscarriages or even increase healthy pregnancy chance. Now, the biggest study, which is known as Eager Study, where they had a thousand pregnant women join this research study, where half, which is 500, a pregnant women going for aspirin tablets and then the other half having a placebo and then the end result is was that there was you can see that it's the clear, clearly there's no correlation between whether or not aspirin can actually cause or actually prevent this miscarriage. Anta Hospital believe that aspirin is a very detrimental and potentially dangerous management because it can increase the chance of a miscarriage because uh, because aspirins are blood thinner and anticoagulants, uh, which means they will reduce the coagulative state of the mother. But the mother during pregnancy is in a state uh, which is known as hypercoagulative state during pregnancy. Uh, so we are actually reversing this uh, natural physiological state uh, into something that might cause and increase the chance of miscarriage. Anta Hospital believes that if there is a blood insufficiency problem, it is not because of a blockage is actually because there are very few spiral arteries, not enough blood vessels. That's why the, the mother is actually facing a blood insufficiency threatened miscarriage. And this is usually caused by underlying organic diseases such as uh, septic uterus, naive uterus. So aspirin cannot actually alleviate any of the symptoms or even treat such organic diseases. These types of underlying cause actually need surgical intervention and then only can overcome. Now, I've already linked the studies down below and I hope that this video actually brings some awareness that aspirin and other anticoagulants, although your doctor may recommend you to take on the daily, it may actually increase the chance of your pregnancy loss. So do be aware and always seek a second opinion.